Hey everyone, this is Ravan Puri, Junior Coordinator of GNE Linux Users Group, NIT Durgapur. I am your host for today's opening ceremony of this 5th edition of 10 Days of Code. This year, we have got around 200 registrations across 30 various colleges all over India. And I can guarantee you that by the end of this event, you will end up with a project that you won't at all be disappointed. Just to name, we have projects like CI Engine based on Java, a Jupyter Notebook clone on based on Python, and an interesting game which has been integrated with blockchain. Not just that, we even have a machine learning project to change the voice. And finally, we have a terminal emulator done using C++. Now, why wait? Let us meet the mentors who would elaborate on this. Hello everyone, I am Devansh, your project mentor for Turvi. I will be working alongside Pratik, Anand, Payson, Akash, Ayushman, Sakshi and Kingshum to guide you through this exciting journey. Over the next 10 days, we will be working on building a basic terminal emulator that replicates the core functionalities of a Linux terminal, a command line interface that allows users to interact with the operating system by executing commands and receiving outputs. We will be using Qt to design the GUI which supports a responsive layout and delivers live input-output interactions just like a real terminal. As part of this mentorship session, we will also dive into essential Linux programming concepts such as system calls, process management and pseudo terminals which will surely serve as a stepping stone for you all into the world of Linux programming using C++. As a prerequisite to this project, we request all the participants to set up a Linux system either through a dual boot or a virtual machine. And as such, we have already shared a small tutorial video with you through an email. We are thrilled to guide you all through this hands-on project and can't wait to see the amazing progress you will make. Looking forward to see you all in our live sessions. So hey everyone, welcome to 10 days of code. I am Davi Payan, a junior member of GNU Linux users group NIT Durgapur and I'll be one of your mentors for this project Vocal Shift along with Aditya, Raghav, Akash, Ankit, Achisman and Sagar. So what is VocalShift? Uh, VocalShift is an AI powered voice changer designed to transform a user's voice into a chosen style, altering characteristics like pitch, timbre, accent or even the age and gender of the speaker. The goal is to build a system that maintains the naturalness and clarity of the original voice while giving users the ability to customize vocal attributes. Okay. So over the next 10 days, we will dive into exciting world of audio processing and AI and here's what we will cover. We will explore Python libraries like NumPy and Librosa to process audio data efficiently. We will also learn about advanced deep learning models like Tecotron 2 for generating realistic and expressive voice outputs. We will also integrate tools like OpenAI Whisper for automation speak recognition. Finally, we will use Flask to tie it all together and build a robust backend for the project. This is going to be a hands-on coding journey where you will not only learn but also create something exciting and meaningful. We are thrilled to have you with us and I hope you are just as excited to start coding as we are to mentor you. Let's make this 10 days both fun and productive. Hello. I am Abir Roy, a member of GNU Linux Users Group and IT Durgapur and one of the mentors of the project Space Wars. Senior mentors of the project include Dipayan Bhaiya, Sankir Bhaiya, Sayan Bhaiya and Swastik Bhaiya. Junior mentors include Orko Provo, Rohit and Smarak. Space Wars is a space shooter game with integrated NFT functionalities, allowing players to use and mint in-game assets as NFTs as well as trade them in a dynamic marketplace. It leverages the advantages of blockchain technology by eliminating reliance on centralized entities and building a tamper-proof trade mechanism. We will explore the Ethereum blockchain, smart contracts using Solidity, and the ERC721 token standard for managing the NFTs. By the end of 10 days, we promise you not only a good project, but also crystal clear concepts of blockchain and NFTs. We are excited to have you on board for this amazing event and we look forward to your presence in the upcoming hands-on coding sessions. Thank you.
हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू टेन डेज ऑफ कोड ऑर्गेनाइज बाय जी एन यू टीनस यूजर्स ग्रुप एन आई पर वी आर सो एक्साइटेड टू हैव यू ऑन बोर्ड विद अस ऑन दिस इनक्रेडिबल जर्नी टू लर्न कोड बिल्ड एंड कोलैबोरेट टुगेदर फॉर योर जावा प्रोजेक्ट यू हैव योर मेंटर्स इंक्लूडिंग मी तनुश्री आकृति श्रावण श्री जोन एंड आर सीनियर मेंटर्स इंक्लूड संकेत भैया सोनक भैया एंड योशता दी योर जावा प्रोजेक्ट इज लाइट सी आई अ लाइट वेट कंटिन्यूस इंटीग्रेशन इंजिन Think of it as a modular, simpler version of Jenkins, where you will automate the build and test processes. Here, you will fetch the repositories using REST APIs and uh, give custom build and test commands. Then, uh, keep a track of all the code changes you made. To make the user interface more interactive, we will be using Java FX. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure that you join our Discord servers and the WhatsApp groups for all the updates, live sessions, and doubt clearing discussions. All the best for the next ten days, and we are very excited to see the amazing work you will create henceforth. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Ten Days of Code. I am Irshad, a junior member from GNU Linux Users Group in IIT Durgapur. For over the next ten days, I will be one of your mentors for Pyrite. Along with Suryansh, Pooja, Vivek, Shudhi, Shivani, Abhishek, and Rudradeep. So our Python project is Pyrite. Pyrite is very similar to Jupyter Notebook. Generally, we see code and documentation in different files. Ever wondered we can have both code, documentation, along with visualization in a single file? Unlike traditional setups where these are separate, our project Pyrite, which is similar to Jupyter Notebook, makes it easy to write, explain, and showcase the code and documentation in a single file. The core functionality of Pyrite lies in its code cells. These are the cells in which we can execute the code snippets. We test and experiment with the code to analyze the output. It's popularly used for Python-based data analysis and machine learning. So, coming to our tech stacks, we will be using HTML, CSS, and Vanilla JS for building our front end, and we'll be using Flask, which is a web-based Python framework. And lastly, we will be using Supabase for email authentication. and to store the code snippets in database so the next 10 days we'll be guiding you step by step from basics to build pyrite hey everyone let me just guide you to the uh, discord server after you log in uh, you could uh, go into a server for that click on the plus symbol as shown and add the link we have given to you and join the server after you join the server you can see initially the welcome page where you get to know that you are into the server and everyone else who would be joining will also be shown there later we have announcements all the event announcements would be given there and later we have the rules part where all the rules regarding the specific server are given here and we should be following those and now coming to the roles we have here vocal shift term each and everything as and with their specific emojis now let us say i am uh, want to go into the java uh, channel because i am allotted with java project so i will assign myself with java for that i will click the emoji after that you could see i am added into the java channel i got the new specific things like the meet and every option related to java now in the cafeteria all the uh, general uh, discussions would be going on in find a mentor you can actually uh, ask for a mentor if you didn't find any and this ask mentor specifically for java is to uh, speak with the mentors of that java domain and later on in help each other you could talk with each other in the domain and after all these things the main thing which is uh, needed for us here is related to the meet the meet goes on in this connect as you could see if you click the connect you will be uh, joining the meet as of now there is no meet created but if you do join so then here they will play next give the permissions and you could just join with this i would like to say that TDOP 2024 begins from now on. Before we move further, I would like to mention you that this event meets and everything mainly goes on the Discord server. So make sure you are into that Discord server. We have already mailed you all the details regarding the Discord server and the WhatsApp community. If you are facing any issues, do let us know there. See you all.